Pretty much every companion in this game has their own story. Kinda just have to dig in and pry. Get from them. Hello there. I haven't seen you in my shop before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kebla Yurt. Welcome to the Equipment Emporium. You looking to buy some supplies? My shop's the largest one in all of Upper Terrace. Best selection on the planet. Whatever you need, I've got. Well, mostly. Mostly? What do you mean by that? The Sith confiscated all my heavy weapons, and they impounded all my ships and swoop bikes. But I've still got a real nice selection, if you're interested. Uh, let me see what you got for sale. Uh, just so you know, the prices on the items are our final. No bargaining here. This isn't a swap meet, okay? I only deal in top-notch stuff. Top-notch stuff, huh? Yeah, I don't really, to be honest, I don't really see anything that I want. So, just leave it there for the time. Actually, I could use some armor. It's not expensive. Welcome to... Because of the... Yeah, to be honest, I'm not sure if it's worth the credits right now. Maybe if I had more credits. Let's just keep on going. Going around. <sighs> Christia. Christia. I don't, I don't know. How do you say that? Christia? Yeah. Don't you just love watching the Kazak players? All that strategy, all those credits. It's enough to make a girl get all flushed. Oh lord. What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Kazak player on Taurus? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't even think I have Kazak cards yet. I want to play Kazak, but I don't have a deck. You don't even have your own deck? Then why are you bothering me? You can't play Pazak <laughs> without your own deck. If you're serious about Pazak, go speak to old Garok on the other side of the tavern. His gambling days are over, and uh, he's looking to sell his deck. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'll speak to him. Speaking of the Garok, I speak to him. Hello there, youngster. You interested in buying the Pazak deck of an old man looking to get out of the gambling game? Just 50 credits and I'll sell you all my cards. I'll even throw in a free lesson to boot. It's a great deal, if you can afford it. Uh, sure, I'll buy your deck. Glad to see you're interested in the grand old game. The rules are pretty simple. Here, I'll load them up into your data pad so you can check them out anytime you want. Good luck. I hope the game's as good to you as it was to me. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Um, I already know how to play Pazak. I've played this game plenty of times. So, I want to ask you some questions. Of course, of course. My mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. That's why I'm giving up the gambler's life. But I think I can still manage to answer some simple questions. Uh, you're giving up gambling, what? Don't get me wrong. The game's been good to me over the years. I've traveled the span of the galaxy, from the core worlds to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rim. I've won countless fortunes, and lost countless more. But that was long ago, and things have changed. Gambling is a young man's game. That's why I sold my old deck to you. I don't have what it takes anymore. And I hate to let my cards go to waste. Um, I want to ask you some questions. Of course, of course. My mind isn't as sharp as it used to be. That's why I'm giving up the gambler's life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll be going. Of course. So, let's just play one game of Bazaar. Definitely going to save scum this because I feel like the AI cheats in Bazak in this game. But pretty much what Bazak is, if you don't know, it's Star Wars uh, version of 
21, pretty much. I saw you're getting a Pazak lesson guy. from that old fossil Garuk. Learning the rules of Pazak is easy, but actually playing the game is a much greater challenge. Normally, I wouldn't bother oh, yeah? a novice like you. But since Gerud was banned for hustling cards, I haven't been able to find a good game around here. Do you wish to play a hand? Let's play. I'm going to enjoy relieving you of your credits almost as much as I'm going to enjoy humiliating you. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a gun. 40 credits. Let's go. All I have is plus cards. Let's go. Let's use a plus one and stand. I think the number is 22. I could be wrong. It could be 21, but I'm pretty sure it's 22. The, the number you don't want to go over. Turn. And then you, you can pretty, pretty much play these, these cards, cards at any time. Like it gives you a random card on each turn. And you can play one of these. Four. So yeah, let's just play the four. Stand. When it wins a set? Oh no! So it's actually 20, I believe, now. Now that I Oh shucks. It is 20. Son of a gun. And I lost. Busted. Ugh, it's best out of three. Oh, that was risky. Hitting on a 16. Sometimes you gotta risk it for the biscuit, you know? You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's do the plus five here and stand on 19. Oh, tied 2 2. And I threw the first one, so let's go. Should I play the five and stab on 17? Or should, or should I, I just risk, risk it for the biscuit and hit end turn and go for a random card? Ooh, that's, that's a, a tough, tough one. one. Um, oh, 20! Let's go! Oh my gosh. Aha! You were lucky to win the last match. But luck is no substitute for skill in Pazak. If you are foolish enough to play me again, I won't repeat the mistake of underestimating you. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'm not interested about If you ever wish right to now. test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taris, <laughs> you know where to find me. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. You're from the military base? You don't look like one of the Sith. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith Occupation Force. Nice to meet you, Sarna. I'm Dendo Delawin. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taris can't stand us Sith. It can make this job pretty lonely. You're swayed. You're just doing your job, right? I don't hold that against you. Save the sympathetic best friend act. I'm not buying Oh, shucks. I don't want to fill out a bunch of paperwork on my day off, so let's just pretend this conversation never happened. Now move along. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Build that charisma roll. What? Why are you speaking to me? Can't you tell from my clothing that I'm of the nobility? Get away from me. I can't be seen talking with a common rabble. It wouldn't be proper for a man of my standing. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. I'm surprised the Sith haven't done anything to try to bring in Davik. Have you gone into the music room in the back? Yeah, I don't care much for the band, but those dancing Twi'leks are something else, I'm telling you now. 
Ah, of course. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the lower city? And where are those drinks we ordered? Uh... Who are you and why are you bossing me around? Careful what you say. I get the feeling this spoiled brat could cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. Well, from Daddy, huh? Uh... Yeah, I'm definitely going to fail that persuade roll. Maybe I'll win it. I'll pass it, but... Yeah. I'm sorry. Don't get upset. I'll go get that drink. It's too late for apologies. Daddy's going to hear about this. You'll lose your job for sure. Shucks. She's a uh, sicky daddy on me. Looks like I got fired on the first day. Are you our waiter? Ghana's buying tonight. Talk to her <laughs> to get my order. I'm not a waiter. You all need to chill the F out. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match. Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start. So quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now. I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Girl on Two Fingers. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever persistent Dead Eye Dunker. Dead Eye Dunker. And to nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Drops Don't worry, folks. He's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Girl on Two Fingers. Girl on Two Fingers. Okay. All right. I haven't seen you around here before. You looking to step into the duel ring? Or did you just come to watch? I want to step in the ring. Good to see some new blood in the fight game. Things have gotten pretty stale around here lately. If you're serious about this, go talk to Azure the Hut. He's the duel organizer. He'll probably start a rookie like you out against Duncan. 